Hey guys, have you ever been looking and trying to find one of these bad boys here? Well today, I'm going to show you, yes you, how to find the Woolly Mansion. So stay tuned. Well ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Season 5. Well, we did it. We finally did it guys. And uh, yeah, it's something that has been asked of me repeatedly and repeatedly and repeatedly. Not by you guys, but by my daughter. Here she is. I finally let her in. Uh, she can't hear us, uh, but I just basically told her to follow me around, but she joined me. Um, her connection is a little bit laggy, if you guys can see. It's showing that she's still eating, but she's not eating. But uh, she wanted to play with me, and I thought I'd finally let her in, in the world. Her house will be over there somewhere. Um, and so, yeah, I let her in on the game. So you guys let me know what you guys think about that. So I laid some ground rules for her about what she can and can't do but you know kids will be kids right so uh we'll see how long i actually uh let her stay in the game before she uh maybe gets gets the boot because sometimes you know she has her own ideas of what she wants to do in, in my world but you know i made a backup copy so things should be fine but anyway what are we gonna do today today we are going to first things first i need to make her a horse because we're going to go look for a woodland mansion. Um, so if you guys don't know how to breed horses, which I have a really nice horse, you take two carrots and then you turn them into two golden carrots and then you feed them to the horses. That's how you do it. And I'm going to give her a saddle on top of that as well. So let's go ahead and get these two carrots. All right. And then maybe by the time we get this going, her uh, horse would be grown up. I think it takes like 20 minutes in the game for a horse to grow up well most animals take 20 minutes but let's see so hopefully she grabs it well she should know which one is her horse because it will not have a saddle or anything there you go one there you go two and there's a baby there we go so i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna give her a, where'd she go i lost her already oh my gosh Yep, I lost her already. But eventually, I plan on giving her Discord and stuff like that so she can um, uh, be able to talk and you guys can hear her too. Um, it just gives me an additional person to, you know, play games with and stuff like that. So, to find a Woodland Mansion, which we don't know where one is. So, we're going to have to trade with this cartographer villager over here uh, to get that done. Before I get over there, I want to show you guys a couple things that I've added. I added another row of water stream here. So when this breaks, it will land. If it does land on the grass, it won't land. Sorry, if it lands on the glass, it won't land on the grass and it will fall. And this thing has been producing a lot better. It only has two in there because I just, just took it out. Um, and then also, what I've known is to see, watch one of these things go up to three ticks takes a long time. But to go up one tick doesn't take that long. So what I did was I just added like a redstone clock over here and I hit it. But there is a redstone clock. You guys can hear it going off right now. So every so often... I think it's every two minutes I have that thing going off. So, because like I said, the first grass grows. So it's even more efficient. And now I believe it is completely lossless. So I don't lose anything. And also lastly, I built a new tower. This is pretty cool. Uh, this tower right here is my phantom farming tower. Uh, if you guys want to see a tutorial on that, let me know. So basically I can just go up there through this water tower little thing right here and it just pops me up to the top i close these gates and i can just stand up here and just beat up phantoms all day and night with not a problem and also it looks look at the world gosh this is beautiful look at all the villagers we have but the world up here is just really nice and you can see we've done some stuff um that's the bridge that we made the uh mob farmers over there eventually i think next episode i want to do an iron farm uh, before we do before we do anything else and i'm going to try to build it in the spawn chunk i think that would be good and no i'm not going to die guys right there no damage at all i just made it like a little shoot down so with a trap door so yeah if you want to if you want a uh, tutorial of how that's made just let me know and i will be sure to do it all right so uh let's find a cartographers all right all right all right where are you where are you they probably need a lot of stuff who knows what these guys these villagers man they they always want a lot oh lily is here she's over there okay i see her uh, let's see with this cartographer what do you need before you give me a woodland map oh you're a butcher you're not a cartographer 
I'll, see all these guys I don't know what happened but all these guys basically mixed up their beds I just got into the world one day and all of a sudden everyone was mixed up and I didn't do it so yeah I'm not sure what's what's going on anymore uh, but I gotta find my cartographer for sure everybody's in all kind of different beds um please don't tell me I know I have a cartographer these are the little glass these little guys with the little like gold glasses come on oh here we go here's one there he goes he's an emerald if you look at the uh see right here whatever level that is whatever color that is it tells you what level they are um let's see he's a level four can he give me the woodland mansion yeah woodland explorer map because i've leveled him up so i need 14 emeralds and a compass and i'll get that 13 emeralds and a compass i'll get the ocean so let's get the woodland explorer map and I hear a zombie. I'm not sure what he better be outside. Like outside of my thing. See, I don't understand how these zombies are getting in here. Because that light definitely reaches down here. I'm not sure what's happening. I, I, I think they must be falling down from somewhere. They have to be. And why do they got to take two hits? They must be falling down from up there because Yeah, there's no way they should be able to get here. So 14. 14 uh, emeralds and a compass. Compass needs redstone and iron. I'm sure. Redstone, iron, and a map, probably. Uh, let's take 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. And uh, I'm not else. What else? What else? Compass. I forget how to make a compass. Don't get me a line. Let me see. Compass. Where are you, compass? construction no equipment yes uh yeah so iron rest on i thought that was it oh i, sh I should just want to grab the rest i'm trying to do this from memory here we go one and then we should be good to go and then the first what did i not put it in my inventory i do i sometimes i click so fast that i don't even i don't even do what i'm supposed to do all right so here we go, and I can just put this stuff away while I'm here. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm not even gonna have to cut this. I'm gonna try to do this straight through. I'm probably gonna have one cut, and that's when we're probably looking to find the actual uh, mansion itself, because who knows how far away that mansion is. Oh yeah, glass, glass. You know what, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna put all the same color glass here. And I'm sorry if you guys hear that, some people out. Are painting my house today so you might hear some extra noises and stuff like that all right what, what does it say she did oh she's sleeping all right whatever I will sleep too there we go there we both will sleep so we can get the night away all right and then we'll wake up in the morning and then I will go grab this woodland explorer map I really wish she had she's inside the villager house that's crazy she hasn't built her house yet. She will be building on the other side. I told her that she can do whatever she... I hear zombies. Please don't tell me... All right, I thought the villager escaped. Hey, are you the guy? Huh? Are you the guy? You are not the guy. You're the level one cartographer. I don't need level one. I need the level four. Are you the level... Are you? Are you mad? Bro, you can go downstairs and grab it. It's not that hard, bro. Uh... Woodland Explorer map. Yes, this is what we need. We're going to open this bad boy up and let's take a look, guys. Oh, so we're not that far. So it shows you that we're right there. So I'll, see, see how big the uh, dot is on the map? The bigger the dot is on the map, the closer you are to it. So guys, I'm, what we're going to do is unload my inventory and then I'm going to keep this in my offhand, actually, like this keep those there so it can always be up so you guys can see it and then I'm just gonna like right here see how I turn see when I'm facing to the right of it now if I go like this I'm facing directly ahead so the woodland mansion is straight ahead this is so cool uh, so yeah let me empty my inventory so we only can carry what we need and hopefully by that time her horse will have um, grown up and then we will go from there so i'll be one cut and i'll bring you guys right back all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back it is the next day and lily and i are ready to go finally we got everything set up 
Um, it's going to try to make me an ender chest so I can move everything, but I haven't killed any um, uh, endermen yet, so it is what it is. So Lily's horse has finally grown up. I can see him over there. There's Lily. Lily, go ahead and jump on the horse. We're going to head over that way. So I got around not being able to uh, talk to her, so I just called her on the cell phone and put her on, she's on mute so yeah that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna make this work for now my horse is being really weird i don't know i guess i'm taking this horse then all right i'm gonna take this horse i got that lead all right lily let's head out this way so guys we know we're gonna go this way uh, also i have a second map like this that i'm gonna have up as well i'm trying to fill that in i tried to um basically expand it but i couldn't figure out how to expand it so it is what it is so yeah i'm not gonna worry about that one. so we're gonna head this way because this is the way to go make sure lily's still behind me okay we lost lily already that that didn't that didn't go well already oh lily you coming all right here we go here we go she just must be lost there we go um we also have some kind of like strange lag that's going on so I don't know we're gonna have to get like her better set up so she can you know actually participate and won't be laggy because sometimes it won't even allow her to um, click on anything interact on anything but she's still with me so there we go and there is the mob farm over there just in case you guys are wondering where we are in in regards to the world and then also over there is like where my spawn chunk is so I'm not sure but if I do lose Lily, no, this is my spawn chunk, right? Because there's lava right there. Yes, this is my spawn chunk. That's good to know. All right, so don't tell me I got to cross the ocean to get to the Woodland Mansion. Come on. All right, we're out on the open ocean. There's Lily behind me, and we're just traveling. And we're looking for this Woodland Mansion. We find anything cool and interesting along the way besides just like a little island or whatever. This is all area we have not to yet to explore, so we haven't explored this yet. But if we find anything cool, we'll be sure to bring you guys in. Yeah. Is that a desert biome or is that just beach? Cuz I have yet to find a desert or a jungle biome. I need jungle for bamboo. Don't forget your boat. <laughs> Oh, the lag is it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, follow me. So, yeah, guys, over here, we landed on this little desert island. I th told you I'd show you guys anything cool. And also, it actually allows me to, I guess, track this. Yeah, I would fall right there. Um, but, yeah, I picked up some cactus. And also, there looks like to be a desert village which is cool if you never saw one of these these are awesome and it also looks like there's a desert well which is one of the rarest structures in all of minecraft Ooh, there's an iron golem oh my gosh so yeah we're gonna kind of like check this out for a bit oh hey 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 guy can i talk to you dude i don't know what's going on but he's not allowing me to talk to him that bed is a cool bed i'm you know what? i'm taking that bed Look, guys, right on the horizon, there's another village right when the sun is starting to set. That is cool. I just wanted to show it to you. But uh, if there's nothing in there, we will continue our night. And I'm trying to sleep so we don't get too close so nothing kills these villagers. So, yeah, we'll keep on exploring. I'd say these villages are nice to look at, but there's nothing interesting at all in these villages. Um, all I found was a torch and some bread. But I do like how this is built like into this little area right here. That is pretty cool. But look at that path block. Look at this generation of the path block. Because it built into that. These guys are trying to pathfind up there and they can't do it. That's funny. Okay, I just had to show you guys. We made it up to the top. And the generation of this village is kind of awesome. It's like spread out. This looks good. This looks good. Still not very practical. Let's take a look inside this chest that Lily's in. There's not much in there. What is in there? Yeah. Oh, a saddle, though. You grab that saddle. That's good. What kind of tree was this? Acacia sapling? I will take that, just in case. I Double tall grass? I think I have that. 
I'll take these saplings just in case I want to make some acacia saplings with some, you know, building materials. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that this is the generation though of this is good. I like the new villages. I like the way they look, I should say. But yeah, they're not. Yeah, there's nothing good inside these things though. All right, well, keep going. Able to find finally coral. Check this out. Oh, there's drowned mess in it, but look at this coral fans and everything. Look at all the beautiful colors now you only find this in the warm ocean i didn't think drowned could spawn in a warm ocean but if, if you were to take out one of these fish it turns into a tropical fish which is cool so tropical when you pick it up it turns orange but they have all the different colors this is just absolutely gorgeous and i just thought i'd show it to you guys i bet this is a tropical fish too yeah this is another tropical fish but it's just cool. If I had more time in Silk Touch, I would probably pick this stuff up. But let's keep going. We're not there yet, but we're on our way. Found the shipwreck. Let's explore. Oh, it's dark for you guys. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. This is a pretty much intact one. Let's see if we can find anything of importance in here. This is actually my first time in survival ever finding a shipwreck. Treasure map book I don't care about a clock I will take the clock I can toss these arrows I don't need those arrows I'm doing okay on air let's see oh suspicious stew I'm gonna drop the double tall grass grab the suspicious stew the problem with suspicious stew is you never know what is actually um, inside the suspicious stew it's, it's basically just a guess let me get out of here now Oh, oh, oh. All right, here we go. You know what? I didn't want to have to break out of here, but I will if I have to. There we go. I'm not going to take some damage on the way up, but that's fine. Actually, no, I didn't take any damage. That's cool. Well, yeah, I, I kind of want to open this treasure map up and see where it takes me. So I might take a little bit of a detour, guys. I'm going to actually do that. What? What? It just... Um, Oh no no! I was like I was like what, what I was like what's happening? Why is it telling me that um, I have the map of my house? Let's see. So treasure map. All right. Where? How far away am I? Oh, it looks like I'm pretty close. So if I turn back around, I'm actually gonna go see if I can find this treasure. Whoops! And then I'll bring you guys back in when we get close to it. Oh my gosh, guys! I cannot tell you how long it took me to finally get onside this map. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot closer than this, but this is absolutely ridiculous. But it looks like we're on here. Now, the reason why I wanted to get this treasure is because there's something very, very important inside of it that I need if I want to build something. Oh, look, 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 right on above it. So the way to do it is to line it up, and I should be able to just dig straight down now. Let's see. Come on. Should be around here somewhere let's see maybe I didn't go far enough down let's see where am I I'm right on top of the X up oh, there it is that's how it's done ladies and gentlemen and inside of this you should have a guaranteed heart of the sea now the reason you can only get heart of the sea from chest and the reason why I want it is because there's something you can build with it and honestly we might try to build it in a uh, couple of episodes coming up but it's basically like a beacon under the water so yeah so let's turn back around and go probably like tens of thousands of blocks that way and find a willing mansion look guys we made it I cannot believe it the map is actually starting to fill in we finally made it to land yes 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 and we are close we are so close let me get my boat back all right first things i'm gonna do is oh my gosh i cannot believe we're so close we're so close so the first thing i'm gonna do is build a in not an in portal what am i what am i saying another portal and i'm gonna link this place up I think it's, what is it? Is it three by three or two by two? I can't remember. But anyway, I'm going to link this. I think it's two by two, right? And then we don't need it in the center. It's a little inefficient, but that looks cool. So I like it. And then all I'm going to do is link this up to my base so I can get back here. If you guys don't know how to do it, for every 
eight blocks you move in the nether, you move one block on the overworld. This is the overworld where we're standing in right now. So if every, no, 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 I got it backwards. Yeah, for every one block, yeah, yeah, yeah. For every eight blocks you move in the overworld, you move one block in the nether. So if I go uh, 1,000 blocks in the nether, that is equivalent to 8,000 blocks on top. So all you have to do is divide those coordinates by eight and that will tell you where you will line up in the nether. So it makes traveling so much uh, faster. So I wanna be able to get back to here just in case I die. And it's besides this place has turtles and there's a lot of um, un underwater ocean monuments over there. So let me link this up. If you guys are interested or curious on how to link up nether and have a nether hub, let me know and I will let you guys know. Anyway, so let me link this one up back home and I will bring you guys back in. Also, Lily, she died on the way here and she had to start all the way back over. So instead of having her go 8,000 blocks, I'm just gonna help link this up so she can get here. Anyway, guys, I'll bring you guys back. So Lily is back, guys, and I've already built this portal that connects us to the nether hub. Like I said, if you guys wanna know how to do this, I can make a tutorial for you guys soon. I upgraded my router too while you guys are away and Lily has no lag. Lily, turn around, turn around. Hey, jump, jump. See, she immediately responds to me and she can see what I'm doing, so that's cool. So let's bring out the map. As we saw last time, it was filling in. So it looks like we need to kind of go this way. So we just stayed out here all night. Um, let me put it in my offhand, actually. We just stayed out here all night um, trying to take on creepers and everything because we forgot to bring a bed. So if we die, it is over. That's what it is. So hopefully we don't find any creepers or anything like that. But we have pretty good armor. So we should be good to go. we we'll just navigate through here. Um, I went 1,000 blocks in the nether, which is 8,000 blocks on the overworld. That is incredibly insane. Guys, if you haven't hit the like button already, just hit the like button. I mean, because we are spending a lot of time creating this content. And we can't make videos every single day because we got to grind for different things. Come on, oh my gosh. It's just showing up. You guys see that corner on the map? It's awesome. Ooh, Lily, I found, the, uh, I found a skelly right here. Hopefully there's, I'm not too worried about a skelly. I am worried about creepers though. So I'm trying to be quiet and listen. So if, if you hear a break in the commentary, it's only because I'm trying not to die because that will not be good. We got all this way and die. Um, this is a thick, thick forest. Well, that's how they uh, spawn too. They always spawn inside a forest. Oh, I see it, Lily. Do you see it? It looks, it's three stories too. It looks absolutely massive. It's huge. That thing is gigantic. Oh my, where's the front though? Because we, we're going to go in through the front door. We're going to show them who's boss. That's what we're going to do. Mushrooms right here too. Maybe this is the front door. I want to get a, before we go in, I want to see what it looks like from the front. Can you believe we actually found it, Lily? No. Uh, I know, right? So Lily said, ooh, that's a, next to a plank biome? That's crazy. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Now, that looks like it's only a two-story one. But still, this took way too... Oh, bees! We have not found bees yet. Oh, my gosh. We got to take bees home. I can't believe we found bees. Oh man, so that's not the front either. So the front must be over here. Oh, there is a three story over there. Okay, cool. This is, I can, like, I am, I am so happy. Without this map, there's no way we would have found this thing. Absolutely no way. They're trying to keep us out of this thing though. Why are you trying to keep us out of this? I'm not even sure how long this episode has been while we were sitting here trying to find this Woodland Mansion, but yeah. How are we supposed to get into this thing? That's what I want to know. Because I don't want to just break in. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I found the entrance, Lily. Here we go. Sweet. I found the entrance. Awesome. Awesome. You know what, guys? I hate to do you like this. But uh, I think for now... Oh my gosh, it's so crazy. Oh, I hear them. I hear them. They're in there. I think we're going to have to end the episode right here. And I'm just going to have to title this one basically how to find it, Whitley Mansion, because it took forever to get here. 
Um, so I guess when you guys come back next time, you will see us actually exploring this because I want to dedicate a whole video to this. And, and I know a lot of people don't like videos that are, you know, longer than 15 or 20 minutes. So I already got to condense the other one down. But when you guys come back, we will definitely be taking on this entire mansion. I should have switched my gear on, but I have my nether golden helmet on. But yeah, like I said, when you guys come back next time, we will be exploring this woodland mansion and we will be seeing everything there is to offer. Uh, with that being said, guys, leave a like on this video. Um, I'm going to immediately record the next video. And if you guys like it up, I will release it. The faster you guys like it, the more I will release it. Um, also, otherwise, I will just release it on Wednesday, which is the next scheduled release. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.